Hello everyone. Okay, so right now I'm um, building this Iron Man helmet using the Pepakura. This one is the Mark V, the old version of Iron Man helmet. I don't know why I like this version. Um, the latest version is good, but I think I'm going to go back to the old one because it looks pretty cool. Uh, so I figure out how to put the ear uh, earpiece over here. Mm, I've done many research on YouTube. Um, most of the people, for if they want to do a fiberglassing of this helmet um, from the inside, they might have they might face a problem, uh, a little bit of problem, to fiberglass this earpiece because when they stick it here they can't put the fiberglass from inside so I figure out how to do that um, well basically you can see I I cut a hole and I merge with yeah I merge with this um, earpiece section so later on when I do the fiberglass I won't have any problem with that okay so um, the final piece is the right side of the earpiece, where which I didn't cut it yet. Here is the layout. So this is the section that I will cut. I will cut this round, and I'll put it here. And yeah, this the the hole will will be like this after it will be completed. It will be like this. So. Some of you might um, have a problem to fit this helmet into your head, so the problem is fixed when you cut these things off here. So once you've cut it, you paste this one on top of it, and you're good to go. Um, I think it's it's really brilliant idea. Um, so basically, I'll put a resin first, just like in the other video in the YouTube channel I don't know okay I'll, I'll try it with that resin first and then later on I'll be using um, fiberglass so stay tuned okay so right now um, in my hand is the earpiece set you can see there's my ear over here so many people have an issue when trying to fit these things on um, basically, they it can't fit because um, this one is flat, so your ears uh, need some space. So basically, if you if you see here, I make a hole over here, and uh, if I put it here, the earpiece you see, it fits snugly and it gives your ears some space, so that yeah, it will fit your head very. But it's snuggly inside, and so I'm going to attach this one to this one. So basically, yeah, not like this. My ear is inside here. So stay tuned. Okay. Um. So I have um. Yeah. I have covered this one uh, with resin, polyester resin. Basically, it is. Um, you can say it's. Yeah, a little bit um, hard than harder than the paper before, but still um, quite flexible. You can press it down here. Okay, so um, I put the resin inside and outside. So that, yeah, it uh, it give it the base, the base uh, shape of this Iron Man helmet. Basically, once it becomes sturdy with the resin cover, resin coating, resin coating, yeah. Well, basically, the next step is to put the fiberglass in. So I'm going to do that. Uh, put the fiberglass. So you can see the earpiece that I made. Yeah, so you got no issue to fiberglass that too. It is, um, you need to modify it a bit. Use your own creativity. Um, yeah, so that's how. 
most of it I modified. I don't put that um, gear tooth, gear teeth, whatever, because I don't like it. It, it looks, um, it looks ugly. Um, the rest, I think it's it's cool. Uh, and one thing, one thing. You see, do you see most of the helmet in the YouTube? Um, they have the the what do we call it bone over here. Yeah, they got uh, uh, the boat over here, but I modified it. Just put it, just put this thing on the back, and I don't attach the bone he, uh, over the neck because I'm afraid that my head cannot fit. Right now, uh, I just test. Uh, to, to fit in my head inside this helmet it fits really really um, yeah just 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 fit the size of my head if I put that neck uh, the bone neck over here I think I cannot fit in my head inside so I guess uh, stay tuned for the fiberglass okay right now um, I have um, I have put the resin on you can see from the inside um, I put a fiberglass and resin so right it is fully dried and it's quite heavy um, yeah I can't ex I don't expect it to be heavy but now it is heavy um, basically all all goes um, is what I wanted so I want to trim um, this this excess fiberglass this this one is sharp it's pretty sharp so I don't have any Dremel but I got an idea um, well I buy this cheap as seen on TV what do we what do we have here yeah as seen on TV this one is saloon shopper saloon shaper yeah so this one is to um, nail, I don't know, it's for girl actually, to um, manage their nails, fingernails, whatever. Anyway, I just use it, uh, modify it a bit to make my own Dremel. So um, basically, I use this. Uh, this one used double A's battery, so which means one double A battery is 1.5 volt. 2 means 3 volt so right now here this one is um, 5 volt output so I got extra boost for this Dremel so yeah now it's it was working quite nice you can see yeah that's quite cool sometimes you need to be creative to get something that you don't have um, you don't want to gain that expensive things so you can buy a cheaper one okay anyway um, I made a mistake before this when do when doing a fiberglass uh, fiberglassing hmm. at the end of here I put the resin without the catalyst I use polyester resin so I put polyester resin straight and I forgot to put the catalyst and it's getting wet it's it won't harden that's my that's my mistake so I fix that um, I cover up with the resin that I've mixed with the catalyst and layer it layer it down here and paste the f new fiberglass and now it's it's quite sturdy everything is quite good yeah so um, I need to trim off this edges sharp edges um, a little bit so that I can wear it um, without harming myself yeah so thing um, I'll after doing this I will paint it down I don't know if I want to use Bondo I will I'll consider it so stay tuned okay um, so just before I go to deal with Bondo um, I found a little bit of weakness over here over this area mm, well basically when I do fiberglass uh, from inside this area cannot be filled in with fiberglass so it is narrow and when I press it down I accidentally press it down it becomes dented uh, 
so I, I fixed that dented away by fixing it back to its original position and what I do is um, I make a hole in the middle and I fill it with resin so when it hardens yeah so this narrow area becomes um, sturdy and quite yeah quite hard right now so problem is fixed um, basically I think that is the thing that you need to consider before you go with bondo and painting yeah so I hope this one will help you guys uh, before you do anything further so I think it is good now to go with uh, bondo and next is painting so stay tuned okay so um, I don't have any bondo uh, I can't find it so in 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 yeah I replace it with the repair putty stick I hope that it will work normal um, because this one is uh, using a mix of epoxy so I guess uh, it will be the same as Bondo I hope so so I'm going to do that all over the place over here um, yeah so stay tuned for that okay so that is the result but actually one stick of this one putty stick is not enough um, I was able to cover the you know the imperfect area with this putty stick just enough for the mask section the face section but not enough to cover the the other part so I guess <coughs> mm, since I think the appearance is important so the rest I think it's okay if I don't use this one if I if I don't uh, fix it using pussy stick I think yeah this part is important for the appearance the rest I think it looks fine so yeah stay tuned for the next process okay so finally it's done here um, I just want to leave it painted silver um, because I think uh, I like I like to look um, I like to see this helmet in a raw color looks like metallic okay so anyway um, I'm not really finished to put the um, detail lines over here I think I will use sharpie okay so right now um i am making a detail lines over here using a pen normal black pen a, this one is faber castle um, i should be using um sharpie but i don't have any sharpie marker so instead i use just a pen i uh, hope that it will work so this side you can see um that i've made uh, the detail lines using the pen and this side is not yet so you can you can you can compare between yeah it looks cool so wait for the finish um, finish result okay so this is the final result um, after putting on the detail lines you can see there the black lines uh, over there let's see yeah on the top and the back you can see the details um, so yeah I know that this one is not perfect because you can see the surface of this Iron Man helmet is not um, it's not smooth so this since this is my first time dealing with the fiberglass and bondo so my mistakes um, I think the next time I do it it will be a lot more better than this I hope so so I think this is the final result of this one I hope you guys enjoy watching all of my video and please if you like watching my video leave a thumbs up 
please um, leave a like comment and don't forget to subscribe